guys, guess what? Today we are going to do a tag video. Um, this is the Confessions of a Nail Polish Addict tag. And I was most recently tagged by Hannah Eve from Hannah Eve Nails It. And I think I was tagged a few other times and I'm just finally getting around to filming this video. Um, it's been crazy at my house, but anyway, I think I've done, I feel like I've done um, another video very similar to this. But it's been a little while, so I might as well go ahead and do this one, right? Okay, so number one, what color are you wearing right now? I am wearing um, the color I was wearing in my Saturday Swatch Fest video from, by the time this goes up, I'm not exactly sure when I'll get to fit this into my lineup, um, but from a Saturday Swatch Fest video, the um, Sally Hansen Mauve Over. And if you love mauve polishes, if you didn't watch that video, I will tell you this is, what, what, this is a good polish. I think I was thinking in my brain that this was going to be like a director's cut thing and it was going to go, <laughs> cut to the good polish. I don't know. Okay. Number two, what nail product can't you live without? Um, I would say, to be completely honest, you really can't live without like a good cuticle oil. Because, um, well, at least for me, I think before I was a nail polish swatcher, I didn't really even know about cuticle oil. I mean, I think I knew about it. I just didn't really know how important it was. But now that I'm swatching, when I swatch, like, you're constantly removing stuff with acetone. And so you really have to get your nails some hydration again the, into the cuticles. So I really don't think I could live without that. If... I didn't have like base coats and top coats and stuff, I could probably live without them, but you definitely need to replenish that hydration. So I'm going to say that. Speaking of hydration, I need a drink. Okay. So number three, what is your favorite nail brand? What is your favorite nail polish brand? Um, that's, oof, that's hard. I never know how to answer this question. I think it's China Glaze just because I have so much fun with their collections and I have the most of them. Um, but I also really, I mean, there's so many that I like. So, and then I guess I'll just say all my runners up I like. I really like Zoya for their formula, but I don't feel like they have as much fun with themselves. I really like OPI. They're like getting funner um, with their collections. I really like Color Club. I feel like they are the most fun with their releases, but their formula isn't always as reliable so anyway those are some of my favorites and then probably from the drugstore my favorites are um, probably like L'Oreal and then Wet n Wild is really inexpensively good so all right number three what nail shape do you wear right now they're pretty squared out I, I don't think you could say they're square because then they'd have to actually be as wide as they are long right so is that more of a rectangle sometimes I have them more of like a squoval um, I just had to chop these off with my pregnancy. This, this is actually the best time ever that my nails ever grow is when I'm pregnant. Um, just because that's just a really good time for your hair and nails. Afterwards is like the worst time because then you're all depleted. Um, so I was at, I actually had them pretty long. But then what happens when mine get long is they twist. Do any of you else have that problem? Mine, like, on the second and third nail, they twist in. So, like, this part goes in towards itself and on this nail, too. I'm like, what kind of a shape is that? It's like the twisty nail shape. I mean, maybe I should just keep them like that and make it the new way to wear your nails. I mean, obviously, everyone is going to wear their nails the way I'm wearing them. But, um, <laughs> so right now, I just decided to cut them off again um, a little bit shorter. So, really long answer to that question. What's your go-to? Red, pink, and neutral nail polish. Um, this is tricky. Okay, so with red, I would say red is kind of like whatever I'm feeling because with red, you either want to wear like a classy red or you want to wear like a, like a youthful and flirty, more pinky red or a deep red. That really depends on your mood and I don't wear red polish enough to really like have a certain way to wear it. So I guess if I'm gonna wear red, I probably most likely wear a classic red. If I'm gonna wear a pink, I really like 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 rosy mauvey pinks. 
um, I don't know. Like I have to be in a really specific mood to wear a bright, hot pink. Or a baby pink. I don't know what it is about it. So, I remember watching Hannah's video of this and she's kind of where I am where I really don't wear that much red, pink, or neutral nail polish. But, to be fair, to answer this question, um, so that's the kind of pink and the kind of neutral that I wear. Um, I guess usually in this time of year I like the not lighter neutrals and in the fall I like the darker neutrals. That's a pretty generic answer, but um, I don't know. I feel like there's probably a question on here that should say what is your go-to nail polish color and that would be blue. I love purple and yellow, but blue, there's just something about it that that is my go-to color. So anyway, that was number five. Number six is short or long nails. I kind of, I kind of really, okay. I kind of really maybe. I like long nails um, just because when I was younger, I bit my nails incessantly. Um, as you know, because I do do the piano music for all of my videos, uh, um, obviously that implies that I play the piano. When I was younger, because like that's all I did was play the piano, I actually used to go to competitions and all kinds of stuff like that. And I really much more preferred having short nails then. And then I also bit my nails. Once I got a little bit older, like I would say probably halfway through college is when I finally stopped biting my nails. Um, I was able to grow them out a little bit more, but then still I don't know if it was because after all the years of biting them or just not genetically having super strong nails. Um, my nails don't get very long, not much longer than this, which is just maybe like a little bit tiny showing past the edge of my nail before they start breaking on the side. I start getting um, like cuts on the side of my nails. And so I like long nails because I think that they look very elegant. Like. Um, it's kind of in style now to have like these long talon nails. <clears throat> I kind of think of it like the Barbara Streisand nail because iconically like she had these gorgeous long talon nails like, you know, what, 50 years ago before, I mean now it's totally in style to have that kind of nail. Um, but she was wearing it, you know, 50 years ago and anyway, that's a, I think that looks really, really chic. But per, because, I'm very, bleh, because I'm a very practical person, it makes so much more sense to me to have something that you can like get your lotion out and it doesn't like clog up your whole nail. You know what I'm saying? Like I always see these girls with these really long nails and think, how do they even like, how do they even put their face lotion on? Because it's just all inside the product is just like lost in their nail or they're just going to poke their eyes out or they literally have to walk around like not touching anything. Literally, like, if you really want to grow really nice nails, don't do anything. Like, don't do the dishes. Don't have children. Don't ever have to lift anything. Don't have a typing job. Don't have a job. Um, that would be my best advice to you for how to grow long nails because doing anything breaks my nails and you have to, like, be able to do stuff. So, another really long answer to this question. I think long nails look so gorgeous, but... For me, practicality sake, I couldn't see myself having them for very long because I just couldn't do anything. Um, I'm sure you probably grow to learn how to do stuff with long nails, obviously. Um, I'm sure they know how to handle them very well, but for me, it wouldn't make sense. I also do think like short nails are very cute too, like really, really cute. So anyway, I think I like both of them. On me, I think I like them like somewhere between those talon nails and like below my edge of my nail. Anyway, sorry, I'm talking a lot in this video. Hopefully, since you're here, you don't mind that and you just wanna hear what I think about nails. Um, all right, what nail polish colors are on your wish list? Um, ooh, I think if I would've had this question like two years ago when I first started blogging, that's actually coming up on three years. Um, but it's been like a year and a half since I've had this channel and about a year and a half ago when I first started my channel was when I just wanted like every polish color out there <clears throat> and I really wanted all the China Glaze collections which you can get, I've said a number of times, you can get like any China Glaze color on Head to Toe Beauty or 88 Beauty or Trans Design. Um, 
you can really find the old polish colors and you can really get yourself a vast collection of polish like I have got myself. But at this point, because I just have so much polish, because I buy all the collections now to be able to review and do live swatches for you guys, um, I don't ever find myself like yearning after polishes. So to be like, I guess the polishes that I would really want is I'd really just want to try a lot of indie brands. I'd want to try a lot of these, um, you know, brands that are just a lot harder to get your hands on. And I don't even necessarily need to collect a lot of them, like, but I would love to try some from Starly Nails. It's, there's just like a lot of brands out there that I haven't really been able to um, just get get some of right now just because I feel like I'm constantly buying like more a little bit more relevant collections and so I just don't have the um the quiche to go ahead and dish out all the money for these other polishes but I think at this point like where I'm at because I just I have way too much polish I don't find myself being like oh I really need that polish anymore whereas a year and a half ago I really was like that like I was like oh my goodness I need to buy all the polishes and maybe it's just like the weird way that the world works is like now that I do feel like I actually do buy all the polishes because it's like so now I'm like well now I don't need to buy all the polishes you know how sometimes it works like that it's not like one of the grass is kind of greener situations where I'm like I wish I didn't have to buy polish it's not like that I still get really excited about collections but I'm not just like I don't have major lemmings anymore if that makes any sense um, oh, but to, to finish up that question, I mean, I mentioned the brand like Starly Nails, but there's like, there's so much, if you watch, um, if you check out the Instagram of, um, Lacquer Loon, she's constantly swatching indie brands, and I th I'm pretty sure she just gets sent all of them because her nails are amazing, and she must have, like, really good jeans or something to grow these long gorgeous nails that always seem they're in the exact same shape. Her cuticles never ever look dry and she makes every polish look gorgeous. Kind of like Kelly Gonzo does. If you don't follow Kelly Gonzo either, her blog and her Instagram, she makes every polish look gorgeous. It's gals like these that when I see what they're swatching, then I'm like, oh yeah, I really need that polish. So anyway, yeah, check out them. Kelly Gonzo, obviously, and um, Lacquer Loon on Instagram. So good. If you want, if you if you need a reason to be lumming after more polishes, you can watch there. You can check out their stuff. So, um, okay, number eight. When do you paint your nails? Morning, afternoon, or evening? I actually, okay. <laughs> Usually, I hardly ever in the evening because I'm about to go to bed. If I'm painting in the evening, it's just because I'm. Um, swatch, finishing swatching before I'm going to go to bed and I don't want to get all over my sheets so I will probably usually take off that polish. Um, I would say I probably have bare nails more often than I have um, nail polish on and I always, my husband makes fun of me, I always have only one set of nail polish on and it's just because I have my utility hand that I can actually do stuff with and my hand that I don't do very much stuff with or I wear gloves with or like when I'm doing dishes or something. My utility hand, I mean, I don't really paint it that much. Honestly, I'm home all the time um, with my kids and unless I'm like going on a date with my husband or maybe sometimes when I'm going to church, I'll paint both. But even to church, I'll still just wear the one. And I was actually at the OBGYN today OBGYN, that sounds funny. I was at my doctor's appointment for the baby today and he looks at me and he's like, why did you only paint one hand? And I looked down and I said, wow, it's been a really long time since anybody asked me that because I did used to get asked that all the time. Like, why, why is only one of your hands painted? And um, I just laughed and we had just right before that been talking about, if you aren't aware, I have epilepsy and we were talking about my seizures and I have to be highly regulated during this pregnancy because of my MS and my epilepsy. And um, so we were talking about seizures, and this isn't funny unless you're a person who has seizures and you're in this exact situation, but he said to me, he says, did you just have a seizure and forget to paint the other one? And I think I laughed harder than I've laughed all week. For some reason, I'm so tired in this pregnancy that I don't feel like I laugh very often um, lately, and I laughed really hard because to a normal person who's not me, 
they would be like, yeah, why the heck did you just paint one hand? And why is your other hand like super weird? Like the nails aren't long. I have one long nail and like I keep my thumbnail long. This is a random thing, but I keep my thumbnail longer because you can use it to clean up around your nail so that if you do make a mistake, you can use the nail to like wipe off the paint. That's what I do anyway. Um, so that's a random tidbit of information. What is the name of this question? When do you paint your nails? And we were talking about the gynecologist or the OBGYN doctor. Um, but yeah, so I would say I paint my nails basically whenever I'm gonna be doing swatching because other than that, I'm swatching so much that I don't usually paint my nails anymore these days when I just want to because I'm always swatching. So there's not like a time when I'm like, oh yeah, I really wanna wear that color. Um, not very often, I shouldn't say never, but not very often anymore because I'm just always swatching. So it doesn't really matter what time of day for me, it's just whenever I have time to swatch some polishes, that's when I'll swatch. So yeah, or if I'm about to do like a tutorial, like a tangling video or a tutorial on different things. Speaking of which, I don't do very many of those videos anymore because I'm always swatching, but if you like them, make sure and let me know. I always try to do some for Halloween and stuff. And I really like doing tutorials. Um, I really like nail art. That's actually where I first started. I know this isn't a tell us all about your life video, but um, that's actually where I started with nail polish. was not because I was obsessed with all these different nail polish colors. I got to that point, but in the beginning it was because I was heavily obsessed with nail art. And um, yeah, that's actually who I follow mostly on my Instagram is not so much swatchers. I do follow some swatchers, but I follow a lot of nail artists that just know what the business is and um, I just love watching them because, or not watching them, but really looking at their work because I'm really inspired by it. So anyway, I feel like that I needed to add like five questions to this list. Um, okay, so that was eight. When do you paint your nails? Number nine is what is your top nail tip you swear by? Oh, okay. All right, well, we'll just pretend I already answered this because I said my not, my top nail tip is to never do anything. If you want your nails to be really nice, never do anything except slather them in oil. And just lay on your bed like a princess and let your butler or your manservant or your husband do everything for you. And that's just the perfect answer because if you do anything, your nails are getting wear and tear. If you aren't blessed with the jeans where you just have super strong nails. Like I know a lot of you have asked me in the comments like, what are your tips? How do I get stronger nails? How do I, you know, basically it's diligently hydrating them. Um, but then also just taking care of them. You can do things like take vitamins, um, which does help. But honestly, the best tip is to be a princess and never do anything and just sit around. And um, if you want a good tip for your natural nails is to not get acrylic nails. So at least in my experience, that's another thing that destroyed my nails. But I don't think I've had acrylic nails in three or four years, I think, since I started nail art because it's like, what's the point? Like I always wanted to change them. So it's like, what's the point? I just, just have my natural nails. All right. So anyway, number nine, that's covered. Woo. Number 10, what nail polish do you regret buying? The only nail polishes I ever regret buying are the ones that stain my nails and I don't ever pay that much for nail polish anyway. Like I insist, insist on buying my nail polish um, for discount prices. So I don't really ever regret it that much. And I usually don't regret polish buying anyway because every polish that I purchase I show you here on my channel or I plan to get around to showing you through the Saturday Swatch Fest. So I feel like I don't know. I don't live too much by regrets. I know that's like a cliche thing to say, but like with my nail polish, I don't because I feel sad when they stain my nails. Yeah, it makes me mad. If you've watched any of my swatching videos, you'll know that I have stained nails and it's like I could clean them up every day, like like once a week do that soak to kind of remove it, but like they always have nail polish on them anyway and I'm just gonna mess them up the next day when I swatch. So it's like kind of what the point, what's the point, you know? So. I don't really regret it too much because then if I find out that something's really bad or not worth it, I can tell you about it. So then it's especially, it's especially not a regret because then I have passed on some useful information to you. So 
All right, number 11, neon or pastel? Um, I'd say definitely pastel. I really, like I've mentioned before in other videos, I can appreciate a neon polish, but um, I don't know. Like I have too much loud and crazy in my life already with my kids. To be quite honest with you, I could use a lot more serenity than I have. Like, I could just use at least one day a week. I mean, I know we all could, obviously. We all could use at least one day a week where we're just in the spa all day. And we don't even have to be in the spa being treated. It would just be a nice treat to be in the library all day, to be in someplace quiet all day. I mean, if you have kids, especially, it would be nice and rejuvenating for our soul and our sanity to be in someplace quiet all day and not be at someone else's beck and call. If you don't have kids, it would still be nice to have at least one day a week where you can completely just be about you and treat yourself. And that's kind of what like a pastel polish is for me. Neon polish is like bring the noise, bring the funk, you know? Let's party, which unfortunately my life is not about that. So I'm happy to present neon polishes to you and share with you what I think about them. And I do really like them and have a few in my collection that are good standard basics. Um, but as far as wearing them and what I can handle on my nails for long periods of time, definitely pastel polish. Um, number 12, what's your favorite color right now that you wear all the time? Well, like you can probably guess from the rest of my answers, I don't wear nail polish all the time. I'm constantly wearing a different nail polish. In fact, I rarely ever go one day with wearing the same nail polish. So if you've seen me say something on my Instagram, like I wore this for four days, like that is a big deal. And I would say that the color that I wear like that is like the color of my jacket. That is my color. It's like a blue purple. That is what I love. It could be varying degrees of darkness, lightness, um, kind of something like this. Um, yeah, just that's a little bit more blue, not as much purple in it, but like a blue purple. That is what I could wear for the rest of all time and probably be okay with never wearing another color of polish um, if I had to, you know, if, if, you know, I was being made to make that choice. Um, that is it. There were 12 polishes in this tag, or 12 polishes. There were 12 questions in this tag video. Thank you, Hannah, for tagging me. I hope you guys found this entertaining to learn a little bit more about me. Um, I am not sure who else needs to be tagged to make this video. I know that there are a number of people um, that have channels that have a little bit smaller audience that I would definitely encourage all of you to do this um, this video as well. I will try to tag any of you that I can remember and think of and my brain is really ridiculously not good at remembering things right now so please don't be offended if I don't tag your name. I officially tag all of you but I will mention a few people that I think should do this. Um, especially some of you girls that don't get out from behind the camera. So um, anyway yes I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you lots and lots. Thanks for spending some time with me today and I will see you back next time. Bye!